WBLFL welcomes you to the 2015 Awards Ceremony. Honoring the best in the game. Now, your host for the night, LFL founder, Mitchell Mortaza. Welcome, welcome to the uh, 2015 LFL Awards. I am once again, not by choice, your host, Mitch Mortaza. You were in for a special night. We're here in Seattle. For all the fans around the world watching this, we've got two of our Legends Cup champion teams here contending for a championship. And we have our 2015 Hall of Fame induction. So, without any further delay, we're gonna get right into it. A lot of the girls in this room were in this position not so long ago because we are so new. And that's Rookie of the Year. The, the Rookie of the Year is I mean, how many people in this room have been nominated or have been the Rookie of the Year? I, yeah. I guarantee you there's at least, Allie's been in that boat, right? So it's, there really are the, the future stars of this thing, and, and the class we have this year, as always, is phenomenal. Let's meet the uh, nominees for Rookie of the Year. Dominique Malloy, Las Vegas Sin. Kim Chase, Los Angeles Temptation. Jesse Locklear, Atlanta Steam. Katie Bindling, Seattle Mist. And the 2015 Rookie of the Year is Dominique Malloy of the Las Vegas Sin. Dominique Malloy. Las Vegas Sin. The unbelievable electrifying run by Malloy. There's NFL running backs that don't make cuts like this. Malloy getting to the outside. Wow, Malloy looks like she must have had Skittles for dinner tonight. In ultimate beast mode, what a run by Malloy. Next generation right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting the endorsement from Christelle Harris, a pretty good endorsement. So Dominique Malloy couldn't make it with us tonight. She's in Las Vegas. This one's to you. It's coming to Summerlin, Nevada. So congratulations, Dominique. Round of applause for Dominique Malloy. All right, guys, the next one is uh, one of the my favorite awards every year, and that's the Eighth Man of the Year Award. Eighth man is the best fan base, the one that stays behind the team the whole time. Regardless of winning or losing, they are the best fan base in the LFL. The four nominees for eighth man of the year are... The Atlanta Steam. The Chicago Bliss. The Omaha Heart. The Seattle Mist. And the 2015 Eighth Man of the Year Award goes to... The Seattle Mist. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric. They bring that same energy that they have at the Seahawk games. This is a great fan base. I love games here. How can you? This is LFL football at its best with the best fans in the league. The next award is an award we added just because talking to a lot of the coaches and realizing the importance of the front line play. Those girls haven't gotten love in a long time. Offensive line, defensive line. It is by far the most important part of football, and we wanted to honor them. Let's take a look at the nominees for the 2015 In the Trenches Award. Kim Chase, Los Angeles Temptation. Megan Hansen, Seattle Mist. Dina Wojowski, Atlanta Steam. Yashi Rice, Chicago Bliss. 
And the 2015 In the Trenches Award goes to Dana Wojowski, Atlanta Steam. Rarely are you given an opportunity to play something that is groundbreaking, that is providing an evolution to something that has never been done before. So when you are part of that pioneering group, there's a drive there to want to see it, want to see the best product, want to see the best end result. The next award is the uh, Team of the Year. This is the team, guys, that performs on and off the field, is an ambassador of the sport, looks beyond it, is active in the community, and let's see the nominees for 2015 Team of the Year. The Atlanta Steam. The Chicago Bliss. Los Angeles Temptation. The Seattle Mist. And the 2015 Team of the Year. The Seattle Mist. We have an opportunity to do something that this franchise has never done. Obviously, it's been successful, but we have an opportunity to build a championship team that starts tonight. Play as a team, I promise you, we will get the W. On behalf of the Seattle Rams, Coach uh, Chris Michelson and the rest of the, all the players and the fans and everyone else, um, to the league, we'd like to say thank you, thanks for this award, and we appreciate you guys. The next award is the Mortaza Award. This has been going six years. Mortaza Award and Long, just so everybody knows, it's, it's performance-based, but it's also being active in the community, being an ambassador, being loyal, having integrity, and somebody that we can always count on that goes beyond the sport. And over the years, we've had some amazing women, and those are the women that I'm gonna look to personally when they're done playing to step into leadership roles at the league, with the league office, and help building the talent, help building the teams, and taking the next step. Because obviously, the ultimate goal here, guys, is we want this whole league to be player-driven in terms of players are gonna be moving into the coaches' roles. Players are gonna be handling front office work. A former player would be the commissioner of this league. That's the direction that we're heading with this. And that's why the Mortaza Award and those items are so important because we're starting to lay the groundwork for that, okay? The 2015 Mortaza Award nominees are... Monique Gaxiola, Los Angeles Temptation. Danielle Harvey, Los Angeles Temptation. Amanda Hogan, Omaha Heart. Lauren Ziegler, Atlanta Steam. I just want to say uh, a quick word on Omaha, because obviously everything that's come out of this season has been incredibly negative, because that's just the nature of our sport. We have to tell it how it is. The reason I personally put Amanda there is because if anybody saw those games and saw the battering ram that she and everybody was on that front line, to pick your head up and go back and do the same thing over again, to know you're going to lose 70 to nothing, 65 to nothing, and to not quit. We literally had a team quit this year on a game. That's never happened before. If there's a team that had an excuse to quit not only game but a season, it was the Omaha Heart. So I think I'd be remiss. We talk a lot being about being a sisterhood and being a family. The most important thing of any family is to what? Is to pick somebody up that is your weakest link, that's going through their hardest time. And the Omaha Heart are going through their hardest time. They've gone through it all season. And I think you as sisters and we as brothers and coaches and everyone need to acknowledge that. So Amanda Hogan, I don't want to let that go. And it's not just Amanda, it's everybody on that team that's stuck through it, irregardless. So thank you to you, Amanda. The 2015 Mortaza Award goes to... Lauren.
Aaron Ziegler, Atlanta Steam. When you love something and you care about something bad enough, you'll literally do whatever it takes to make it happen. You'll go through hell and high waters to, to make it happen for yourself and for the people around you. There's nothing that can stop me. If I can do this, why can I do anything in life? She is the first person in my office after every game, and not to kiss up, but literally says, and with tears in her eyes, this is a dream come true for me, and I can't thank you enough for doing this. And does it every game, and means it. She cherishes every moment on the field, and because she almost had her life taken away. Most of you guys saw the story on her, and the battle that she had very early on. Nobody gave her an opportunity to even be in athletics, not only is she in athletics, she's excelling. And that's what I want this sport to be built around. Characters like that, with integrity like that. And if I have anything to say for it, she will exemplify everything that means the future LFL athlete, Lauren Ziegler. Congratulations. The next one we're going to talk about is the Offensive Player of the Year. What a category. I mean, the, the, these nominations are off the charts. Let's meet the 2015 LFL Offensive Player of the Year nominees. Christelle Harris, Chicago Bliss. Dakota Hughes, Atlanta Steam. Stevie Schnoor, Seattle Mist. Lauren Ziegler, Atlanta Steam. And our 2015 Offensive Player of the Year is... Dakota Hughes, Atlanta Steam. Just wow, watching Dakota Hughes is worth the price of admission. It's plays like this where you don't really, you drop her last name. Just like Michael, just like Madonna, we're going to just call her Dakota after that play. She is the pro's pro. You guys have heard that term before in sports. She is the Peyton Manning of the LFL. She is everything that you say positive about an athlete, and she's just getting started. So Dakota Hughes, this goes to you, Atlanta Georgia Strong. All right. We inducted a three-time Defensive Player of the Year earlier in the evening. Let's meet the nominees for the 2015 Defensive Player of the Year. Allie Alberts, Chicago Bliss. Danica Brace, Seattle Mist. Leanne Harden, Atlanta Steam. Adrian Burnell, Atlanta Steam. And the boss, the Defensive Player of the Year is... Danica Brace, Seattle Mist. We are grown ass female football players. Let's go. So act like it. I have heart and I know it. I know every single one of you is 10 times better than any bitch on that team. Don't you cry, pick your head up and let's go. I've had the opportunity to play with her now uh, for a full season. I only knew of her as one of the West Coast girls that was supposedly good. And, um, you know, it's crazy because whenever I got to play with her and see real life, who she is on and off the field, I was I, like, I still am dumbfounded by the plays that she makes and the amazing athlete she is. Um, she definitely deserves this award 100%. She gives everything she has every game on the defensive side of the ball, on the offensive side of the ball. She is a straight beast. I'm sorry for anybody that has to get hit by her because she hits like a man. And, and then that's just being real. So I know a lot of girls in this league can, but I mean, she's a freaking beast. So, um, for Danica. Woo! Woo! Next up is an award that, you know, you could argue is the most important award we give out every year. 
I say it every year when I'm at the podium talking about it because without these men and soon women, we don't have a product on the field. And we're going to continue to push them like I do every year. And they're going to be annoyed heavily because now I have a real off season to be a pain in their ass all off season and, and make sure that they're putting our women in the best form to succeed on the field. And of these four, I know all of these gentlemen, actually five of them very well. You could give this award to any of them. You could Biz and Tui, the job they've done over the years. Obviously, the winning record Keith Hack has had through the years. Hard to argue with that. Up and coming Dane Robinson, last year's coach of the year, how he's turned that franchise around. And Chris Michelson, who's been at it for six years, consistent with his nose to the grindstone. So, let's meet the 2015, I just went through them, but we'll meet them anyways, 2015 Coach of the Year nominees. David Bissub and Tui Suyanoa, Los Angeles Temptation. Keith Hack, Chicago Bliss. Chris Michelson, Seattle Mist. Dane Robinson, Atlanta Steam. And the 2015 Coach of the Year is... Chris Michelson, Seattle Mist. This is the moment you've been waiting for. We come out firing and we control our destiny the rest of the night. And I promise you, whistle to whistle, every down like it's yours, and you walk away champions tonight. Any coach could win this award. You guys should all be honored to have your coaches. Um, they, they do a lot of work. They put a lot of work and effort into the season every year. Um, regardless of the record, regardless of whether you go to championships, it's, it's very difficult to, to coach women that never played the sport and get them to a high level immediately. Uh, with that said, uh, there's a lot of great athletes in this sport and I'm very honored and proud to coach every single one of them and be a part of it because you females uh, take football to another level. I'm sure the coaches would um, um, you know, say those words as well because you know, a lot of these guys, they have an outlet since they're five years old to play this sport, and you women don't. And um, for you guys to grasp the sport so quickly and take it to another level, I'm extremely honored just to be a part of it. And you're all strong, you're beautiful, and you're empowered. And you should never, ever tell, let someone tell you you can't do anything. Because I'm telling you right now, what I see on the field, whether it's All-Stars, whether it's just the Western Conference, the Eastern Conference, an exhibition game, whatever it may be, you women take it to another level and you you surprise me and you honestly, you um, inspire me, yes, sir. okay? And uh, I'm very proud to be a part of it all. I thank Mitch for uh, giving me the opportunity to lead to be here in existence, all the staff that's involved with the league that puts on this production day in and day out, a lot of behind the scenes that don't get credit for the things they do. And of course, uh, I can't leave out Coach Price. He's been my uh, wingman for the last <laughs> as the people you surround yourself with so for me to get this award is, is a indicative of the team that I have the organization the organization I have and obviously the staff that supports me and helps me and um, without everybody else in this um, you know this means nothing so I'm very honored to be up here accept the award and I hope we have a really really good game tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it yeah. award and get you guys some bedtime before our biggest game in league history. So let's meet the 2015 League MVP nominees. Danica Brace, Seattle Mist. Dakota Hughes, Atlanta Steam. Lauren Ziegler, Atlanta Steam. K.K. Matheny, Seattle Mist. 
And the 2015 Big Boss League MVP goes to... Danica Brace, Seattle Mist. Stand up for your sister, walk out, chins up proud, and go to fucking war. If you die for me, I'll die for you. I will lay everything I have on this fucking field today. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, thank you, first of all. You know, I've, I've always been known as a defensive player in this league, and, um, you know, I strive to be the best defensive player possible um, and, and ever, really, in history. So, you know, I think, I think that's incredible um, that I received this award, but, you know, it really wouldn't have been possible had it not been for, you know, Coach Chris putting me in the right place, giving me the opportunity to make big plays on the offensive side and, you know, for KK to even throw me the ball and give me that opportunity to make big catches, score touchdowns, um, and be an all-around player. So, you know, um, again, I just I have to thank everybody, the fans that voted, um, obviously my teammates for being that supporting cast and allowing me to, to play my role and to shine in that role. So, you know, I hope I can just be an inspiration for young girls and say, hey, you, know, you don't just have to settle for one thing. Um, you can play any position you want or you can do anything you want. So um, thank you so much. <laughs> And thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next year.